Welcome to the fun house. <laughs> Bobby and I are having a blast with our Dean family barbecue today. Starting with an easy after work barbecue chicken. Oh, Bobby. You like it? That is so good. And no barbecue is complete without the perfect sides, like Aunt Piggy's cucumber, tomato, and onion salad, a warm macaroni mozzarella salad with herbs, and moist and easy cornbread. Mmm, I believe it might be better than mine. And finally, we're keeping this meal fast, y'all, with a 10-minute blackberry cream pie that can only be described in two words. Kick butt. <laughs> All right, so we are doing the Dean barbecue. Oh, barbecue. Well, let's move down now and start on our first salad to go with our barbecue. All my life. I can remember Aunt Peggy doing this at every meal when we would go over there occasionally on Sundays or just any time we ate together, Aunt Peggy would always do the two things that I love from her. I love her Italian dressing. Oh, you know what I'm talking she about? Makes she makes the best. The best in the world. And I love her uh, tomato and cucumber salads that she used to do uh -huh. with a little bit and, of onion. And listen, she does it every time she and Paul, uh, my cousin Paul, Peggy's youngest son, was just here for four or five days and every meal that we ate, we've always got the onions and cucumbers. Even breakfast, right? I mean, well, no, always... that's, the only meal. <laughs> that's the only meal Aunt Peggy doesn't do this at. She said, Paula, do you know I make it every day of my life at home? Your, I believe yeah, that. Yeah, she doesn't have a meal without it. I believe it. I said, well, maybe that's why you said dad gum pretty. Well, I sure remember from every meal. Yes, and it's just dirt simple. Now, Bobby's over here cutting up a pint of cherry tomatoes. So I'm going to do about a half an onion, Bobby. And I'm using a Vidalia onion, y'all. Well, it's a great side, and it's a, a good way to get your vegetables in. Well, you know, we've always got cucumbers. We've always got onions available, so. I remember picking them as a kid. Uh-huh. Out behind the toy house, didn't we yes, go out there and, yes. and get cucumbers? Yes, one year we had the most fabulous garden. I remember cucumbers and potatoes and... Yeah, now I'm gonna come in with a little salt, a little fresh ground pepper, and Bobby's gonna peel and slice two large cucumbers. You want me to help you, Sonny Boy? Sure. Don't you love cucumbers? Mm -hmm. Now, I'm going to add a tablespoon of olive oil and apple cider vinegar while Bobby chops up the two tablespoons of parsley we need. Y'all, down south, we think the simple life is so good. This is just an example. Yeah. <laughs> you know? This is just one. Absolutely. Food doesn't have to be complicated. I've said it no. a thousand times. In fact, I need for it to not be complicated. Right. When you walk out your door, life is hard. That's right. When you walk back in your door from working, it should be easy, it should be simple, it should be humble. That and you better not get no oil on my new shirt, Bobby <laughs> Dean. <laughs> All right. Okay, Bobby, let's move on to your moist and easy cornbread, son. I know you know cornbread, so help me with this and make sure that this recipe is good. So if there's anything about it that you I, don't I like. I know it's good, son. I know it know. is. All right, well, I'm going to start with your dry ingredients, and Please. I'm thinking you're going to get up your wet. I got the wet stuff. And you told me one one cup of, one cup. of yellow cornmeal. That's right. Okay. And I've got a cup and a half of buttermilk here to start. Okay. You know, buttermilk just makes all the difference in the world, y'all, in cornbreads. And you said three-fourths a cup of all-purpose flour, That's right? right? And I'm adding two eggs. Here we go. And I'm adding six tablespoons of melted butter. Bobby, I love the way this recipe sounds, Sonny Boy. We don't love a good cornbread. Yeah. All right, now you said a tablespoon of sugar, which is really good. All right, and I'm gonna put just a little bit of salt. Uh <laughs> All right, it comes in handy. You don't have towels anywhere in oh, your wait. kitchen. I'm well, isn't that funny? You use mine anytime you want okay, to, okay? That's, that's what I'm gonna do. But to eat this along with a meal, I love the tablespoon of sugar. And I got so, two more things to add to that. One and a half teaspoons baking powder. Yeah, because this is going to make it rise up fluffy, y'all. And because we're using buttermilk, 
you're going to uh, need some soda. And then a half a teaspoon of baking soda. Yes. And we're going to combine right, so these two together. Okay. You ready? I'm ready. There you go, son. This looks wonderful. I love good cornbread. I like it too, and I like, you know, I like to do different things with cornbread. I like to sometimes do it with jalapenos in it. Yes, I do too. Like Mexican style. All right, now you got your square pan got my up there. Dish I think here. you're gonna just spray yep. it. Okay, there you go. I know you've always done yours in cast iron. I do. You know, I, I always put a little shortening or uh, peanut oil or vegetable oil in my skillet and mm -hmm. put it in the oven and get it real hot. So when I pour it in, makes that real crust, mm. you know? Mm. Already starts cooking right when you put yes. it in. Right well, today we're going to do it in a casserole yes. dish. Yes. And I like that. And I've just, just sprayed it with I'm, a little panko. I ain't saying, I'm just saying. Like I said, I'm just well, saying. Well, I asked for it and I'm getting it. <laughs> <laughs> Mm -hmm. And this looks yummy. That looks great. I'm going to cook it at 425 Can't for 25 wait. minutes. So I'm going to go ahead and pop it in the oven. Okie doke. Coming up. This is going to be so good and so sweet and so sticky, y'all. Then, you can't have a barbecue, y'all, without a pasta salad. That pasta's warm, y'all. And, um... Is it melt and cheese? Yes. And later, a dessert that's such a snap is worth celebrating. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> I so hope y'all are enjoying the show, and if you do, be sure to click like, subscribe, and the notification bell so you'll never miss a video, and we'll be right back after the break. Hey, y'all, welcome back. Mm -hmm. Bobby and I are now making easy after-work barbecue chicken. Is it all right if I just season it sure, up, Sure, of course it is. We're, we're okay. doing a little bit of grilling, and this is a, a barbecue chicken. It's an easy barbecue chicken. So what we're going to do right, is son, we're going to... if you would salt it, because I don't want to yeah. stick my fingers All right. uh, back in the salt I well. Got I got it. Because I've got chicken on it. So we're going to season our chicken with a little bit of salt and pepper and throw it on a hot grill. And then we're going to make a really good, simple barbecue sauce for it. Oh, that sounds great. And, you know, everybody loves uh, barbecue chicken, don't they? Well, everybody below the Mason-Dixon line yeah. does. I know that. <laughs> I know we we grew up eating it. Son, before we start, I think I'm going to give our grill Hit a it. spray. All right. There we go. All right. All right, put that chicken on. Got it. Honey bunny. You got it. Now, we, we have just used a regular three-pound chicken that's cut up, and naturally, we have washed it. There you go. All right. Yum, yum. Oh, and look at your plate. Oh. Look at that. Look <laughs> how perfect that worked out. <laughs> <laughs> Look what he's, we had. He's the lucky the, one. <laughs> yeah, he is the lucky one. He's still got feathers. <laughs> All right, so we're we'll going to grill that for a few minutes. Okay. We'll keep an eye on it while we make our sauce. So okay. I'm going to trust you to be watching that chicken, all right? Okie doke, I am. I am so going to And you're watch already it. on top of it. I am so on top of this chicken. All right. I love barbecue sauce. Yeah, y'all, it's a little different. Yeah, everybody makes we, it a little bit differently. Uh -huh. Well, you just tell me what to do, son. Oh, Lord, that's where we have trouble. <laughs> <laughs> Me telling you what to do. All right, I see some onion. So, so start just... out with dicing that onion, if you will. Okie doke. All right, and, we're and how much up. do you need? A couple of tablespoons. Mm -hmm. Now I'm okay. going to eyeball three quarters of a cup of ketchup. Okay. That's about right. A couple of tablespoons of Dijon mustard. Okay. Right. Okie doke. Two tablespoons of the minced onion. Three tablespoons of white vinegar. Okay, fourth of a cup plus two tablespoons of brown sugar, That's right? exactly right. A little bit of hot sauce. Okay, how much, son? Well, I would say as much as you'd like, but okay. a quarter to one teaspoon. I like two tablespoons better. Okay. A quarter so, to one teaspoon. So, the hot sauce, it depends on how hot you want it, y'all. All right, a little salt. Mm-hmm. A little dice pepper. Mm-hmm. The zest of two limes. Yes. Because a little lime zest don't hurt anything. You need about a teaspoon and a half of lime okay. juice. Mm -hmm. I'm going to just put in like most of the half. There you go. Uh, what do you do with the green onions, son? I'm going to uh, dice them up. Okay, and put them in the sauce. I am. Okie doke. This is going to be a really chunky barbecue sauce. Barbecue sauce can vary. Down in the south, I'm just gonna spray this. Yeah, depending this on which chicken. state you go in, it's all different. Absolutely, some people, you know, nothing but a mustard base, some a vinegar. 
uh, some uh, a sweet red. Right. It depends on is, what you grow up with, I think. And I like my barbecue it does. sauce. Ketchup based for sure. But you know what, son? Um, I, I like all different kinds. I enjoy from state to state. I can appreciate all different kinds. Yes. But what I like is what I grew up yes. with. Yes. All right, I'm going to flip the chicken. Bobby, this chicken's looking good, son. Mm -hmm. Look Ooh, at yeah. that nice brown chicken. Mm -hmm. I like it. I do too. I like it. I like it. I love it. What do you think? Very good. Oh, Bobby. You like it? That is so good. Very good, isn't it? I mean, it's really sweet. Mm -hmm. Um, Which is the way barbecue sauce should be to me. Yeah, yeah. But the lime, mm -hmm. the lime just kicks it. Mm -hmm. I like that. That's good. We ready to start brushing it? Let's roll, honey. You want to do the honor, son? Sure I do. Paint that chicken. Paint it. Oh, my gosh. Looks so good. Mm -hmm. Now, see how easy that is? We can all do barbecue chicken at the house. Yeah. And you can do it inside. And you inside. can even do it inside. Took the words right out of my mouth. Oh, I like that, son. Mm -hmm. All right, now I'm gonna start flipping yep, it so flip you them. can do the other side. The chicken's smelling good, too. I'm thinking it's smelling good. Mm -hmm. We've got an ample amount of sauce, so. And Bobby, make sure you get every speck, son. Look at that. And some more right there. All right. And some more right all there. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> Okay. This is going to be so good and so sweet and so sticky, y'all. We got a great meal when coming we come together. Back, we got cornbread. Ooh, Cornbread's yeah, the cornbread will be ready. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness, we love mm -hmm. us some cornbread down here in the south. So y'all don't go anywhere. Bobby and I are in the kitchen grilling. Easy barbecue chicken. Grilling, grilling. Coming up, what's a barbecue without a macaroni salad? And we've got one that's the easiest. The simplest things are always the best. And then it's time to dig into this barbecue. Now you say it, now you don't. <laughs> and later, dessert that's truly easy as pie. Oh, I love it, Bobby. I hope y'all are enjoying the show. And I want to hear from you. Tell me what recipes or videos you'd like to see me make by just leaving a short comment below. Now, let's get back to the show, y'all. Welcome back, y'all. We're just pulling together this Dean family barbecue. Shake, shake, shake. Now, Bobby's draining two cups of macaroni that he's cooked up. All right. You ready to make a really nice warm mozzarella and macaroni salad? Oh my gosh, I love warm pasta salads. I need for you to handle the wet ingredients. We're gonna need two tablespoons of olive oil. Okay. And then we're gonna need two teaspoons of this red wine vinegar. Okay, I'm just eyeballing this, y'all. I am gonna grate up a cup of mozzarella, and I'm gonna need for you to do um, the juice from this lemon. So I'm gonna cut this for you. I want all that the juice, juice in of there. the whole lemon. That's right. Okie doke. Well, let me, while that macaroni is still warm, I wanna go okay. ahead and get this cheese on okay. there so it can melt. This is gonna be nice, it's nice. Really, really good. I got some fresh parsley and okay, here, basil let me help here. You. Toss that cheese in there, if you will, and let's try okay. to get it to melt with the macaroni. I'm gonna use a half cup of fresh basil chopped and then a tablespoon okay. of fresh parsley. Ooh, the basil, Bobby, just smells divine. Yeah, that's gonna be good in there. All right, so yeah, that pasta's warm, y'all. Is um, it melting the cheese? Yes. Look, look at that big piece of mozzarella. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Love it. Is it good? Mm-hmm. You know, this is one of Jack's favorite meals almost every I'm night. I'm jealous of him every time I go eat with him because he always has pasta with butter on it and it looks so much better than whatever I'm having. <laughs> I know it. I could eat pasta every day. I, I was over there the other night, and um, Brooke had mixed him up uh, a quick pasta with broccoli and, uh, oh gosh, I, I had a little ham, and it looked so good. And I kept pinching off his plate, and I said, listen, I'm going to have to go before I snatch the kid's fork from his say, mouth. And I think that's all and, they and, feed and, that kid <laughs> is, is, is pasta and, what, and fruit. He <laughs> loves it. That's what he loves. All right, I'm chopped and ready to okay, go. Okay, well toss it on in, son, because that mozzarella is... Mm, it's gonna be good. All right, we can add our wet, I think, and toss that in. Okay, okay. 
All right, a little salt and pepper. Yeah. And that probably gets that, it doesn't does. it? It does, that's it. I'm just gonna rip some fresh basil yeah. up in it. Really, really it has some nice fat chunks. Mm -hmm. The simplest things are always the best. Yes. Mmm. Yeah. You, know? you mm. like it? Did so you salt? Good. Did you salt and pepper it perfectly? Okay. It's yeah. Delicious. All right. Well, come on down, son. Mm -hmm. Because we have pulled our meal together. Mmm. -hmm. Mmm. Well, here's my plate. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, here's your napkin. Okay. All right, Sonny boy. Throw it over your shoulder. All right, son, if you would cut our cornbread. Let's see. All right, I'm gonna put you some nice pasta and mozzarella salad. Perfect. Mm. Mm -hmm. That's good looking cornbread right there, buddy. Bobby, mm -hmm. I think that's better cornbread than I usually make. You think so? Yes, well, I mean, no. it looks fabulous. Oh, Which my piece goodness. of chicken would you like? I love dark meat. Well, I will let you choose it. Okay, Dad. I'm gonna saddle up. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes, Can you see what I'm going for first? Please, butter mine too. Okie dokie, you want yours just like mine, right? Well, I only want a half a stick of butter. <laughs> Look at that cornbread, y'all. Mmm. Mmm. Ooh, that barbecue chicken oh, is so Bobby. good. You like it? Mmm, I believe it might be better than mine. It really makes me happy. <laughs> oh, Bobby. Did you try the chicken? Mmm, it's delicious. Mm -hmm. That barbecue sauce is very, very good. Mm -hmm. And it kind of got charred mm -hmm. on the grill. Mm -hmm. mm. I believe that is better than yours. <laughs> well, thank you, son. Well, you're welcome. <laughs> One more time. <laughs> <laughs> Golly, that's great. This is my kind of meal. Corn it just bread. brings me back because when we were, you know, growing up in Albany, it was not unusual for us to have barbecue chicken. Mm -hmm. Definitely Aunt Peggy's, you know, mm -hmm. cucumber and tomato salad. Only thing different is that warm pasta salad, which mm -hmm. I really like. And the lemon juice, Bobby, in the pasta salad. Mm -hmm. You like it? Mm-hmm. Look at that chicken, y'all. Good to me. Now you say it, now you don't. Mm. <laughs> Mama, I got a great dessert for you. We bill it as a 10-minute blackberry pie. I don't believe it takes 10 minutes. I think it takes two. <laughs> and I'll show you whenever we come back. Coming up, Bobby and I are whipping up a pie. It's going to have you licking your lips in minutes. Oh, so good. I so hope y'all are enjoying the show. And if you do, be sure to click like, subscribe, and the notification bell so you'll never miss a video. And we'll be right back after the break. I can't believe we got more. <laughs> <laughs> no, right, I'm so full. But got to save room for dessert. And I okay. want to show you this anyhow because I haven't okay. done this with you. Okay. This is a really easy 10-minute blackberry pie. And, you know, growing up in, in Albany, Georgia, we had always had fresh Wild blackberries. Wild blackberries from. everywhere you turn. You had to watch the rattlesnakes, but... They were easy to find. Yes. So, but I've got about 10 ounces of fresh blackberries uh -huh. here. And you could use, you know, frozen if you wanted to. And I'm gonna hold right. a couple out to garnish the top I, I of this. I was gonna say, I believe that's more than 10 ounces. Hold a couple of them out. Okay. And this is cheating a little bit, but it don't hurt. All right, now, do I need to time you? Not yet, because I'm talking. Three oh, okay. teaspoons Excuse of this me. blackberry jam. <laughs> well, yeah, I suppose we would be to the timing part. Three teaspoons of the Why blackberry jam. Why don't you do jam. one more for good measure? One more. That one would be for me. Okay. Well, how about two for okay, you? Okay, yay! <laughs> <laughs> All uh -huh. right, so Tommy, this is a 10-minute okay. blackberry pie, but I'm thinking I can do it in two. Okay. And I'm listen, gonna... you've got your crust up here. Right. And this is just graham crackers and butter, and we baked it off for a few minutes so it'd stick together. Or you can just use a store-bought pie crust. Great. All right. Now here, just mash that together you. to get some good consistency with it. Uh-huh. This would take you 10 minutes if you did, you know, things fresh. If you cheat, it's two minutes. All right, so I'm just gonna frost it with our whip topping. There you go, it looks beautiful. It does look beautiful, Bobby. And I'm just gonna pile. And I said whip topping. This is fresh sweetened whipped cream, y'all. Oh, I love it, Bobby. Oh, it's beautiful. Great dessert for the summertime. It's great for any time. Mm. Mm, 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 it's great mm. for right now. Show sure are. That is super simple, Bobby. 
I have to say, I have never, never made a blackberry pie like this. All right, now this first piece. Oh, wait now, let me fix it. You know that oh, first- Are we not gonna eat it? <laughs> yeah, that first piece, you know, always comes out kind of mm. iffy. Mm -hmm. Ain't nothing iffy about that. Can you eat a piece yeah. that big? Yeah, with me. <laughs> Easy. My goodness, Bobby. Easy, 10 minute blackberry pie. All right, baby. Give it There's up. your fork. There's your pie. Here's my fork. Mm -hmm. Here's my pie. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Bobby, this is beautiful. Mm. So good. Is it good? So good. Oh. So good. Bobby. I love you. You know what? We had such a great meal. Y'all, the cornbread is better than mine or his great-grandmother's. Uh, Aunt Peggy's salad's delicious. The pasta salad, like, kicked butt. And this is out of this world, son. All right. Thank you for loving me. Thank you for coming into the kitchen today with my Love friends you. and I. I y'all it's Paula Dean. Now if you enjoyed this video be sure to like it and click the subscribe button as well as the notification bell to be alerted when I post a video. Love and best dishes y'all.